Butchake English for Teens. Welcome to Butchake English for Teens. I'm Camille Xantis from Eon. And I'm Josh Barnard, also from Eon. Every week we're going to be sharing English phrases used by native speaking teens. We hope you enjoy them. So, Camille, what's this week's issue about? Meg has a Christmas present for a special someone. I wonder who it is. Well, let's listen and find out. Hillary, Meg's here. Coming! I brought a Christmas present for Coco. Let's put it under the tree. Wow, look at all these presents. Actually, most of them are for Coco. Coco is one lucky cat. I'll say. I'm jealous of her. You're jealous of a cat? Well, after all, I am a cat. Anyway, did you catch what Hillary said about the presents? Yeah, she said most of them are for Coco, right? That's right. There are many expressions like most of that help you talk about proportions. They usually follow the same pattern as most of something, some of something, all of something, none of something, etc. But there's one phrase that's a little different. Almost. Mm. It looks a lot like most of, so you might be tempted to use it in the same way, like almost of the presents, but that wouldn't be correct. Almost actually means nearly or close to, so we need to establish the amount it is close to. For example, you can say almost all of the presents. Almost none of the presents. Almost half of the presents. Okay, I think those are all of the things we wanted to cover in today's video. Uh, most of them. We still need to do the doshi no tachijin. Ah, yeah, oops. Our doshi no tetsujin point for today is about the difference between come and go. These are two very important, very common verbs, but the way they are used is a little different between English and Japanese. Both come and go refer to movement, but we choose which one to use based on the context. Generally speaking, in Japanese, you choose which one to use based on your own relationship to the movement. So if the destination is away from you, you would use iku. In this week's issue, Hillary is away from the door, so the translation of what she said was ima ikimasu. However, in English we use come when we are moving toward the person we are talking to, and go when we are moving toward a third party. Mm. Hillary was talking to her dad and Meg when she said coming. She was moving toward them, so come was the appropriate choice. It can be a little confusing, so let's look at some concrete examples. If you call your friend to tell them that you're on your way to their house, what would you say? I'm coming right now. In this case, come is correct because you are moving toward your friend. How about another situation? If you want to tell your friend that you have a dentist appointment at 2.30, what would you say? I'm going to the dentist at 2.30. In this case, the dentist is a third party, so go is the correct choice. Be careful though, this is just a general rule. That's right. There are situations where the rules change, so pay attention whenever you hear people use come or go. Hey Josh, did you catch my joke? My dentist joke? What? 2.30? 2.30? Do you get it? Ugh. That really hurts. Well, that's all for today. Be sure to try these phrases out and don't forget to have fun. See you next week. English for Teens.